I'm here at Westgate Studios in Wakefield and I've been told I need to find a lady called Sarah and in order to do so I must follow these moons. So if you follow me this way, another one just there, what we're trying to find is dream time baby massage and you're probably thinking what's that well in Westgate Studios they do training and classes here and it's all to do with postnatal depression and we're going to find out more right now from Sarah herself. Sarah nice to see you again. Hi, it's lovely to see you. Oh, well, how are you doing well? I'm no doing really well yeah. yeah that's good. Welcome. Thank you so much. This room looks absolutely kind of wacky. Yeah, it's individual, a lot like Dream Time Baby Massage, I think. Yeah. And you're the founder? I am the founder. So what can we expect from today? Well, today we're going to be singing through um, one of our classes, and all the classes are exactly the same. It's the same singing, the same yoga moves, the same um, massage moves, and it's really important for mums to experience that. So we're going to be doing some singing, um, and we're going to be doing some massage. Be amazing. Should we meet some of these babies? Let's meet some of these babies. So what made you want to join this group then? Uh, one of my friends had been, um, well, one of her sisters had been before, and uh, I just wanted to do something, you know, to get her engaging with other, other children, really, and um, get a little body moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my friends at the recommended it, so said it was really good, and they'd, um, she took her little boy, and she, when she went back to work, she missed coming along, so that's why I thought, well, I'll join it. How are you? How are you? How are you? smiling so much it's just so nice that you can see on the baby's faces that they're actually just really really enjoying it i expected there to be people crying uh, not at all amazing what kind of movements and things were you doing with the babies to engage mother and child we always start with the babies are born in the circle of the sun um, so the babies are lifting up and down and going in front in zooming into the air into the center so we're going up and down mum's opening her lungs up and so it establishes immediately this this trust going on through play which is really how have you found that the most the more common women who come to your classes are first-time mums i've been going for 18 years so um I get a lovely combination now of first-time mums and returning mums, um, but it's all through word of mouth. I would say in, it's about 70% are first-time mums. If they're not being diagnosed with postnatal, um, uh, yeah, with postnatal depression, most of them are suffering from some form of post-traumatic stress because giving birth is really, really stressful. You can hypnobirth all you like, and some births are wonderful, but the physical um, process of giving birth either vaginally or emergency c-section or a planned c-section that has a massive impact what's it like being a mum for the first time is it a mum who's going to walk in yeah absolutely like, do this absolutely you you know the, I'm, I'm, i will admit there are tears most days you don't know what you're doing the baby doesn't know what he's doing um so yes it's very terrifying um, and just a real shock to the system. Your life is completely turned upside down. And no matter who tells you and what, and what people tell you it's going to be like, it's a completely different experience to anything that you've ever imagined. Well, you think when you're pregnant, you think you're ready. You, you think this is going to be fine. The baby's going to fit into my life. I'm not going to change at all. And then this little being comes into your world and th they become your world. You, you are there to nurture them and you've grown them for nine months or, or however long you manage in Inside you. It's not like when you go to work and you, you leave work at five and that's it till you go back the next morning. It's 24 hours a day, seven days a week and I think it's the relentlessness that, that you're not necessarily ready for. It's, it's lovely but there are times when it, it can be a pretty dark dark space to be and it, the days can seem very long and the nights even longer depending on how your child sleeps. I came along 
and within the first the first session I thought oh I love this but to be honest it was more about the social side of it really than, than what Bertie was getting out of it and now Charlie um, everyone's so friendly we're sitting have a cup of tea everyone's talking about how much sleep or how little sleep they didn't get last night but the really good thing is my teachers are I'm just starting with my first batch of teachers training them with the next stage up which is called Little Wigglers so certainly by the beginning beginning of November the, the people women of Wakefield and, and surrounding areas will be able to choose to go on to another kind of Dreamtime experience, Dreamtime Little Wigglers. And that's advanced gymnastics, that's we do sing and sign, it's story time, it's musical instruments, but it's the same philosophy that runs all the way through. So it's swapping one pair of comfortable shoes for another pair of comfortable shoes. And I'm very proud of that. Very proud. <laughs> Dreamtime Baby Massage there in Wakefield. Now, 